Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thank you for joining me today for this week's Pick a Card Weekly Tarot reading. It's very simple. Pick a number now between one and five. You can have more than one number if you would like. Okay, Mercury goes into Virgo today or tomorrow depending on which country you're in uh, and the time zones. So we're in for quite a busy active week with a lot of very detailed and systematic uh, communications. Perhaps you're getting more organized. Uh, you might be, you know, cleaning up in your home, doing a bit of a spring clean if you're in Australia or New Zealand, uh, or maybe, you know, getting ready for fall and winter uh, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere in, you know, Europe or maybe um, the US. Okay, do you have your number yet? I've got mine. Let's go to the board and uh, we're going to rock and roll. Okay, so here we go. So we're doing card number one and I like to close my eyes first. Sailing. Sailing. Oh gee, I must do some sailing. I haven't done some sa uh, sailing for so long. Decades and decades. So I'm on a yacht. It's going pretty briskly. Uh, you're making great progress if you've picked card number one going cutting through those emotional waters and even if there's a few you know little waves here and there and actually a big wave is about to come this week too I can see but it's um, only a temporary slowdown uh, and everything's okay so don't panic if something happens in the following week or 10 days uh, it's just maybe a bit shake you up a bit but um, uh, you're starting to understand and get to the real core of the matter okay but you're basically making very good progress and even if there's a bump in the road that sort of probably spurs you on to do even better the card that comes out for you is hmm let's go with that one there the king of wands all about motivation and inspiration what could i say um, the sunflowers up here uh, it suggests that there are insights and awarenesses that are coming your way that you haven't noticed before okay so something uh, is an aha moment and it all becomes clear a lot of action to be taken uh, this week and it's very important to stay practical and keep your feet on the ground you could move uh, you could actually meet somebody like this uh, and um, this is a very motivating person it's a, a masculine energy uh, the king of wands uh, however women do have it as well uh, so don't get caught up in you know being too concerned if they're male or female there's a real sort of um, honesty with this person uh, and usually there's some sort of noble intent there they tend to be quite fair and conscientious in what they do and it's just a good person to spur you forward, uh, help spur you forward. Um, you'll see here that there's a, a water dragon down the bottom. And so this is about, you know, really listening to your instincts, really being in touch with the deeper parts of yourself, okay? Being practical, keeping your feet on the ground and listening to your instincts is important. That's card number one. Card number two, what do I see? Uh, reminds me of Asia particularly Southeast Asia it's like a water system it's made of bamboo and the water is trickling down and it's flowing into gardens and there's crops and things growing okay so this is about growing and nurturing uh, your seed ideas that you may have for different projects maybe for work and just where you want to take your life generally speaking okay water is important okay but you do have a system here uh, that you can use to help you water your spiritual garden. Uh, the three of wands comes up. Okay, so other people could be involved in helping you. Sometimes you, you know, you may not um, agree with everything uh, that you know other people say. Um, however, the group of you together, whether you agree or disagree, you can get the job done. There's great spiritual strength here uh, that can help you to contemplate what you need to get ahead and working with other people in some sort of like-minded venture 
uh, can end up motivating all of you, even if you disagree on some points due to your level of passion, okay? Uh, but it's like eventual success, feeling inspired, allowing other people to motivate you so you can get what you want in life, okay? Uh, the third card, number three, number three, what do I see? Okay, um, a rolling pin, making food, again, focuses on nurturance, okay? Nurturing yourself and others. Um, it's particularly making bread. Uh, earlier on today on Facebook, uh, making bread was a bit of a feature. This is the kind of nurturance that is a basic sort of thing. It doesn't mean that you have to go to anything, you know, great level of um, effort or anything like that. Uh, it's quite the opposite. It's about just the basics, taking care of yourself, eating the right food, getting some movement going, you know, so that you're not sedentary. Um, interestingly, um, you know, we all know about the 10,000 steps. <coughs> Excuse me. 10,000 steps that we're supposed to take every day. Um, however, if you take under 4,000, that is classified as sedentary. The um, two cards just jumped out. The Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is like reaching out for spiritual attainment. It's like asking for help, asking spirit to help you in multiple areas of your life. Sometimes, <coughs> sorry, sometimes that can be about setting up boundaries and deciding no i'm not going to do that enough is enough putting your hand up and saying stop but it's like asking spirit for help ace of pentacles beginnings this is a great card it's uh, beginnings of new projects it's like spirits handing you literally some opportunities now in various areas of your life but particularly those areas that could be involved with you making money, okay? Uh, and even though there's some confusion or hesitancy at the moment, maybe you weren't sure of your path about, you know, you'd like to make some more money, but you're not sure how to do it, uh, it it's likely to become more clear uh, this week. Maybe before you just didn't have the clarity in your mind about how to figure stuff out. That's okay because now you'll go through some sort of portal uh, and there's blue skies on the other side. So I don't know if you can see that on your monitor. The clouds are clearing and there's blue skies. So this is a very fortunate um, sort of omen. Look, it's, it's not something that's going to change your life um, immediately, so to speak. But it is the start of a new beginning for you that could pay off in the end. So continue to ask for help and for spiritual guidance. And if you do that, you, you're going to find that your mind becomes clearer and the insights come down from spirit and you'll, you'll start to understand what they want you to do. Okay, number four. Oh, number four. This one just jumped out. I'll just close my eyes and see. Okay, I don't like seeing the cards before I close my eyes in case it influences me. But let me just see if there's a picture. Magnifying glass. Um, and then a Petri dish. Not a peach tree dish, as I heard somebody in the GOP call it. A peach tree uh, dish. Uh, no, it's a Petri dish. Uh, so this is about growing things. And then this microscope is on all of the details. Because the, the, the devil's in the detail is the um, saying. Now, Mercury into Virgo, uh, today or tomorrow, depending what country you're in, this is all about detail. And so you're going to get a lot of details come down into your mind, but they're all important. There's something bigger about to happen with this, but it's going to take time. It won't happen overnight. So you're in this time at the moment of the details coming through, but you can't immediately act on what it is that you find out about these you know from these details but the other thing um, that I'm getting very clearly now I'm talking about it is that um, uh, these details are also going to point you to a bigger picture a bigger concept so you may not really understand the bigger concept yet but you'll figure it out this is a major arcana this can change your life 
okay? And it's not just about this week. It will be for many months, if not years. So be patient now. Gather all the information you need to before starting something major, okay? That's number four. Number four. And that's my chickens outside, by the way. They're saying to me, feed me, mum. I haven't had time yet, but I will. That'll be the very next job. Okay, number five is alive. I've got that all. Move them like that so they all fit in. Number five is alive. What do I see for you? A gold. Oh, right. It's a gold scepter and there's a ball. Now, if you're up on your heraldry and, you know, royalty and all of that side of life, which I'm not, a ball and a scepter. What is the ball? I mean, maybe that's, I mean, you know, circles are about union, completeness, um, you know, things coming together, integration. The scepter is the, so, the sign of royalty, okay? This is about you being autonomous and independent and royal in your own life, if you pick card number five. Okay, so I'm just yawning here. Um, number five, number five, what do I see? Anything else? Yeah, and they're also saying to look after yourself and to nurture yourself. Okay, this is why the Nine of Swords, you might have been through some troublesome times recently. Maybe it was some sadness that you had to deal with. But see this purple colour here? This is like spirit lending you support. So, it, you know, it may have been a sad time and perhaps uh, your own thoughts might have actually made things worse and, you know, you could be your own worst enemy in some way. Uh, and, you know, now there's this sort of failure, feeling of failure or delay or, you know, disappointment in a situation that you hoped would work out that it doesn't look like it's going to work out okay but you're nearly at the end of that cycle so that is good news so you know you can move on but know that you are being supported by spirit despite whatever um, thoughts that you might have in your mind uh, it's actually probably more positive than what you think it is okay so soon you'll be moving on to a new cycle and you can let this go if you picked card number five Okay, the cards we've got, Wands, Wands, Cups, Pentacles. When I did Facebook this morning, there was a huge focus on money, health and well-being. Uh, but not so much here. Uh, so we've only got the um, one major arcana. So, you know, mostly what's going on this week is not very significant for most people. If you pick card number four, it is. Um, but for most people, it's not. Uh, so wands is you know all about the motivation um, the spiritual fire to do things you know capture emotions uh, pentacles uh, more to do with your money uh, so you know new ventures so to speak for number three there swords is what goes on in your mind your thinking the mental realms okay so don't don't make yourself suffer by mulling over situations in your brain. Take control of your mind uh, because you can. It's your mind. It belongs to you. Okay, so that's it. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you so much. Go and check me out on Facebook too. I do a lot over there. Just search for Absolute Soul Secrets on Facebook and up I'll pop. I do the live... Um, uh, pick a card readings every Monday morning at 8.30 Brisbane time. Uh, if you, you know, want to follow the page, like the page and follow the page, don't forget to subscribe uh, here on YouTube as well. Have a wonderful month, uh, sorry, week. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Okay, there we go. Bye. Thanks so much for watching please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.